It's 4 a.m. And I'm going doxy hunting. So we've done 10 formidable pixies. We got our three troll bogeys. And now we come over here into the assignments, go into SOS, we come down here and we have to find five doxies. What in the world are doxies? Who out there has seen a doxy? We're gonna try and figure out where doxies are at. Now, doxies are things that only come out at dawn. This is like an hour before sunrise, and so you've got to get up really early. So I'm here at 4 a.m. right now. I'm out in a shopping center getting ready for this because uh, the most common place where I'm going to find them popping up are in parking lots around big shopping centers. Um, I would like to go to a few parks that I know of, but the parks don't open up until sunrise. So I've got to go to places that I know I'm allowed to be early in the morning and so that's going to be rhyming around parking lots and a couple of these are 24-hour stores so they really don't mind you going into their parking lot early in the morning so this morning goal is to try and find five doxies this morning now that's, that's pretty steep to get five doxies in one morning but uh, we're gonna we're gonna try for this. so we're gonna be driving around the parking lot here and I'm not going to be clicking on any of the regular ones I'm only going to be clicking on oddities or anything that has a flare on it anything that is rare or hard to find um, and that way I can I can save my time and I can get through more encounters Because I'm just looking for the ones that I really need right now So we're gonna drive around and see if we can find five doxies this morning And then also uh, later on I'll be talking about the werewolves and telling you where to find those Okay, it is now officially dawn and the map has changed a little bit We click up here on the moon and you can see it says it is now dawn So this is one hour before sunrise. So we have a little bit of time here Let's see if we can get some doxies. Okay, we finally found ourselves a doxy here and they are pretty darn easy. You just have to line them up and that's the, the hard part. So let's actually try and do this and to get him. So, oop, Protego. Okay, line it up. Ooh, he's bouncing all over the place. And we got ourselves a doxy! Four more to go! And with that, we have our five doxies. It uh, took me, what, about uh, just shy of half an hour of being out this morning, and we have our doxies. And so now we need to get some werewolf hair. Oh, what a fun morning that was. Um, yeah, so to summarize, doxies only come out in the dawn. So an hour before sunrise to an hour after sunrise. You have that two hour window every day that you can catch doxies. And if you wanna verify it, click on the little icon on the top that has the moon or the sun, and it will tell you if it classifies it as dawn or night or day or dusk. Those are the four time periods that the game tracks. So I have this infographic that I found from my good friend, Go Shiny Hunter, which if you haven't seen his channel, you've got to check it out. He has some amazing things down here. And so this makes it just very easy to understand where and when you can find different things. Urklings can be found at any time, though they are the most common during the day and at dusk. Centaurs can be found anytime, though they are most common during the day and during the night. So dawn and dusk, centaurs apparently go to sleep. Horned serpents you can find anytime except for during the day. So from one hour after sunrise to one hour before sunset, you won't find any horned serpents, but you can find them any other time. Leprechauns only come around at dawn and dusk. So the two hour window in the morning and the two hour window at night, you'll find leprechauns then. Vampires are only available at night, so one hour after sunset to one hour before sunrise. You'll be able to find vampires then. 
Then pixies are the same as vampires. You can only find them at night, though they do spawn fairly commonly. And then the doxy, the hard one to get because it's only available for two hours at dawn every day. One hour before sunrise to one hour after sunrise. And then last we have a werewolf and you're going to have to find this to complete the task. And werewolves are only available at night, but they're only available at night around the full moon. So two days before the full moon to two days after the full moon. And for where I'm at, that is the 14th through the 18th of this month. Coming up in just three days, we'll be able to catch our very first werewolves. Unless you were in the beta down in Australia, New Zealand, then you may already have your werewolves. So I hope this helps you out. It is an interesting dynamic to the game in that the oddities are not set up by nests, so they can appear anywhere you have regular spawns. That's why I like going to parking lots, because you usually get a lot of spawns in parking lots, um, but particularly at night because it's a little bit safer than going to the parks because the parks are generally closed at night, unless they're open for you, in which case then great. But wherever you're going to find spawns, you're going to be finding oddities. Now that being said, I'd probably say stay away from nests because nests take a certain percentage of the spawns and make them the nested items. So you're probably not going to find as many oddities in a nest. So look outside of a nest where you find a lot of other spawns happening. I hope that this has cleared up some of the confusion around oddities. Uh, they are an interesting dynamic to the game and uh, it makes it kind of fun that you can only find them at specific times. If you do have any questions, concerns, or ideas, let me know down in the comments below. I'll also have a link to Go Shiny Hunter and the infographic, so if you want to see that as well, it's down there. If you did like the video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Those really do help out the channel, and don't forget to ring that little bell. That's about it for today, and until next time, have a magical day. I want to open Chocolate Frog. Let's see what's inside, and today we have... Oh, another Jaconda Sykes. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have quite a few of her, but I haven't got one in a while, so that's kind of nice. But if you'd like to get this, come see me at one of the events and I'll be handing them out.